Hello, hello. Welcome back. This is Insurance Hour. I am Carl Sussman, your host. Thank you so much for being here today. Phones are open, 559-656-0317. If you can't get through because it's busy or you're getting voicemail, leave your question on the voicemail because I will get to it. I will either play it on the air if you want, let me know, or I will at least answer your question. I do not ignore anybody, I promise. That is why I am here. I want to help. I want to try and get information out, accurate information out that can help you. You can also email your questions in to questions at insurancehour.com. If you need help right now, you can also dial pound 250 on your cell phone, use the keyword insurance, and the system will transfer you to an agent that can hopefully help you right away. Having said that, I want to take one step back before I dump, uh, jump right back into our questions that we're going through today. These are questions that have been emailed in. And you might see a pattern that a lot of people are talking about the California Fair Plan and or they're frustrated. They're very frustrated. Premiums are high. Flexibility is low. It's not what they want. And I want to not I don't want to minimize that because it is a very, very frustrating circumstance. We're used to dealing with private insurance companies and private insurance companies usually have some type of a representative. There's some element of sales and service that go with it. Right. When you have the choice between one insurance company or another insurance company, they have to compete. And one of the ways they compete is based on service. When you're in a situation that we are right now, where there are no private carriers for the most part that are offering new policies, what you're stuck with is a situation where the carriers that are offering something or they're renewing you, or in this case, the California Fair Plan is offering coverage, there's no incentive. There's no real reason why anybody has to bend over backwards because what are you going to do? And I know that sounds horrible and it sounds like, you know, they've got us by the you know what, but that's the situation we're in right now. Unfortunately, we are in a situation where competition is basically non-existent. And because the competition is non-existent, we're not able to have options to go to other carriers. And so the carriers that we're with are basically having their way. And uh, unfortunately, like I tell our clients sometimes, then when the premium increases come in and when things are happening and they're asking us to do things to make their homes less likely to burn, we want to do it because our alternative is almost always worse. All right. I had to get that off my chest because I know it's extremely frustrating. I know it is for me. I deal with this every day with you know tons and tons of people. And I know you're dealing with it as well if you're listening to this. So we will do everything we can, hopefully, as an industry to try and get to a better place. The new regulations that are coming out with the sustainable insurance strategy are designed to do just that. And I have every confidence that they actually will in time. Next question says, we cut down every tree within 100 feet of our house and built a house that is as fireproof as possible. Concrete fiber siding, metal roof surrounding by stone and gravel. We should have saved all the money doing that because it was only our address that mattered, not how the house was built or what ground the ground around it looked like. A dozen agents gave us a no based on our address. On top of that, California Fair Plan uh, had us cut down trees that were 150 feet from our house to get the discount they offer. Actual fire risk has not much to do with who is getting the insurance. I, I feel the frustration in this. Now, the California Fair Plan is a heavily regulated organization and the discounts that they offer and what they are able to do for giving to provide those discounts are their law. They can't randomly change them. Now, I don't know how long ago you were going about getting these proposals, but with the new Fair Plan discounts, you might be able to do better than you were doing or it sounds like you were doing. And as far as the frustration that all of this work you've done and nobody cares, it's just your address that's the case right now, but right now is not normal. This is not the way the insurance industry normally works. And I can tell you, having done this for three decades, that this is not how things typically work. Carriers do care, and it does make a difference because let's face it, an insurance company would be a lot more likely to take on a risk like yours because you've done all of those things upfront to prevent loss than they would be someone who's your next door neighbor, let's say, and they have not done any of those things. The problem is right now, because there are no new policies being written by the vast majority of the market, what you're left trying to get quotes from are from carriers that are not experienced or simply are looking for the cream of the crop. They don't need to look at your situation and actually underwrite it and say, hmm, 
This doesn't look too bad. They've done a lot of work to prevent fire because they have hundreds of other people that are in simply less likely to burn areas and they will simply go for the low hanging fruit. So I apologize on behalf of the whole industry and what it is that you're dealing with. But the the good news again is that we are close. We are at the tail end of this nightmare of availability for insurance. I would like to say in the next couple of months, you will start to see some changes coming down the line. It's not going to mean you're going to see your premium drop tomorrow, but it does mean that the options you have will be changing fast. Next question, are insurance companies declining to insure once they inspect what types of actions, remediations are they required of homeowners? Assuming the homeowner has already done the fire plant debris clearance. Okay, let me address this. For since, since the beginning of time, sounds funny, insurance carriers inspect properties. This is what we used to do. This is what I used to have to do. We would go out to the house and take a picture of the house, take a picture of all sides of the house. Even before my time, there was a little tool that had wheels on it, and you would drag it around the perimeter of the house, and it would count as it's spinning. And that was how you would actually determine the size of the house, by walking around it with this little tool that rolls around the house to calculate the size of the house. My point is that the concept of inspecting a house has been around forever. It's always been the case. The only reason we're, we're noticing it right now is because people are coming out after the policy is written, they're doing their inspections, and because the market is so tight, If there is anything that they see that can be done to make the house more fire retardant, they are going to require you doing that. And typically, again, in a normal market environment, you could do it or not do it. And if you don't do it, you could go to another carrier that might not require you take those actions. Unfortunately, in the current environment that we're in, we just don't have those options. We still just don't have the ability to turn around and say, okay, I don't want to do those things. I don't want to spend that money. I'm willing to go to another carrier that might cost a little bit more, but it'll be less than having than doing all of the work that you're asking me to do. We just don't have those options. We don't have that flexibility. So unfortunately, you're in a position where you more than likely are going to have to do the work they want you to do. Keep in mind, they're not asking you to do anything that's bad for you. They're asking you to do things that are going to prevent your home from catching on fire. And I think we forget that sometimes as well, because rightfully so, we're so frustrated and we're so angry. We forget these are things that really benefit us because keeping our house from burning, well, after all, that's what we want. We will be back in a flash. This is Insurance Hour. I am your host, Carl Sussman. Reach out anytime, 559-656-0317, and we will be back in a flash. Thanks for watching. If you found this useful, please be sure to like and subscribe for more content. And don't forget, click here to watch the next video.